But I hope you're not too tired of uh, experiments because uh, our next show will be a uh, demonstration of uh, chemistry. So uh, I would like to ask Martin and uh, Vladislavs from laboratorium to bring out their equipment. Don't worry, you, you don't have to do anything. This is, this time you only watch. What? Very well, you hear me? Yes. yes, I hear myself as well. So I'm so glad to be here with you. We're both so glad, very glad to, because so many young and bright minds. So give you applause for yourself. You have done a great job here. That's amazing. And sure, to make this party a bit more happier, we bring some chemistry. So, I know we, you are so smart, so we just thought what we could bring here, and we decided, let's take some very simple chemical puzzles. I think you will like them. So let's, let's start with the first one. I think it's so simple that you can easily guess what's going on. Yes, yes, let's, let's do it. So we, for this puzzle, we need just one liquid, one specific liquid. So let's, let's go. And in your heads, just try to guess what's going on, what's happening, and, but please don't tell each other. So the same as you did before. Just one liquid. So, you know, the chemical, the sign of chemical reaction, it's uh, color change. Yes, so we have some kind of reaction. And now let's add more and see what's going on. Good. So, when we pour one glass to another, so there is reaction or no reaction. It's like no color, no reaction, right? Yeah. So the same. Uh, to see better what's going on, because this color was could be a bit more brighter. So that's the reason why we put here a bit more glasses, so you can see better from the real lens as well. So same liquid inside but uh, you know when if you want to mix because the, from one liquid you can not get a reaction so easy that's the reason why we got two flasks yeah we pour in two flasks and then we can mix them Yeah, that's the reason, because there is only one, one chemical, but if we, you add another one, then you can have a sign of chemical, chemical reaction. It looks pretty easy, right? I, I see you, you got it, right? Don't you? Oh, I see. Uh, we will show it in slow motion. So, yeah, you will got it. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, but, you know, before you do an experiment, you have to clean up uh, all the chemicals you have. That's the reason we will just pour it away. So, before we go to the next. So, yeah, just take everything away 
and clean up. So that's the reason you know, that we just clean up waste, wastewater just right here, and that's, that's all. So, slow motion, yes? But please be careful here. It's slow motion, yes? So, the f you got it. The first one, when we pour the first one, there is no color. Yeah, that's, that's what you got, that's for sure. Uh, yes, but when you start to mix the same liquid, it, uh, yeah, just, just show, but please, not so fast, not so fast. Yeah? The, then uh, we got uh, the color. And when you add another one, it changes a little bit. And then we can add another one. So, so yes, it's, it's easy to understand. Just, just mixing, we get some colors, and uh, that's all. Sure, but all the wastewaters should be clean. Mm -hmm. Sure. So, you got some colors like yellow, orange, uh, red, green, uh, blue, purple. Yes, these colors, you know, that some kind like, when you put them all together, it's like, you know, what, uh, what the name of this arc? Like, like rainbow, yes, yes, yes. And that's uh, all the colors we got here. And uh, sure, if we move on, uh, and sure, uh, this time we won't add the liquid from, the, from here. But let's, let's try with another one. So, To have here for a, like a, several hours to do that amazing uh, thing that uh, the one very interesting and important thing you need like coffee uh, sure uh, to make a coffee you just need uh, one thing uh, water and a little bit more water when you put it together then you have a coffee right mm -hmm. exactly yes and uh, if you think that this coffee is too little, then you add a little bit more water. Just one, two, easy. Like uh, if you need uh, not just for you, but your, for your friends, as you were three of you together, then you add uh, three coffee, you take them. And sure, I, I know that some of you will tell that coffee is not so healthy, is it? Or it's so-so? It depends, yeah. Uh, but um, that means you need some energy. Still, you need some energy. And then, sure, you can share another drink, and just you have to find a chemical bar here around to have some energy drinks. So enjoy. And after a moment, we will come back when you get some first medals. Now we will take another small break, uh, and I will ask uh, our uh, chemistry experimenters to uh, come out once more. So that you don't get tired from all the clapping for all of the teams. I see everything is ready for cleaning up. And previous time we used some liquids, and this time we'll use some gases. And you know, when you put some gases together, you can have a boom 
or something like that, but uh, they asked uh, not to use open flames. So that's the reason why we, use, we will use some closed flames. But okay, that's a bit later. Science is so magically powerful that, imagine, the air around us, like in this hole, how much, what is the mass of this air just around us here? Is it something like a few grams? A few kilograms? It's uh, a huge amount. It's like uh, several, could be about, um, like several tons maybe. But the more, more interesting thing that you can take this air and sell for someone, just so easy. I will show the way how you can do it. Uh, you know, the, we have, we have here nitrogen, 78%, some oxygen, 21%, and the rest is 1%, where CO2, argon, and, and so on. So, and you can take this, compress together, and just sell for someone. Just, you can have money from air. And here, let me take this a piece of air, uh, and you can pour a little bit, and just see that when you pour a liquid, usually it gets wet, but this time, like, it's dry. <sighs> nice. And sure, when you use this cold air, like liquid nitrogen, and if you want to make a moisture here, a little bit more than, not like this time. So you need to add uh, some water. So let's try to add a little bit of water. This here, you think it's enough? Like, let's, let's make more. Uh, that's the reason why we will put a bit closer. Do you have some towels with you? Oh, okay, I hope it's gonna be okay. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, let's, let's add some air inside. You know, this air is compressed 700 times. So that means if you add a bit more water, then it will come bigger and bigger for 700 times. So that's the reason. You think it's... Okay. Just move your head a bit more, then you will see better, yeah? Uh, ready? Ready. Okay, so let's add hot water and uh, cold air. Just all together. Wait, 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 wait. Like, all together. Three... One. Okay. You saw that 700 times. Okay, we need to clean up. Just take it and, you know, the thing, everything should be clean uh, before the next experiment. And uh, the question is, what is this white thing you saw before? The, the white thing which came out of this tube, the pipe. Mm? Uh, nitrogen. nitrogen. The uh, usually nitrogen is not white, but more. Some more guesses. Water that freezes. You know, you you mean some snow particles? Yeah, yeah? Uh, but uh, there is no snow. It's just uh, you know the water. That's that was correct, but it, the water has a huge heat capacity that the reason it can't get uh, in ice in a so fast uh, moment. So that's the reason, yes, we will add a little bit more uh, on this wet surface. Uh, again, this, and we'll see. So when you put that, you see this time, we see much more clouds than it was before because over that, uh, over the, the surface, we have some water vapor. And sure, it gets cold. It's the same, you know, when in the winter time. Uh, I don't know if you have uh, cold winters enough, but when you just whoo, do that, the white cloud is coming outside. Yeah, and just let's enjoy. Okay, and now we'll add a little bit, uh, another liquid, because we had some water before that, and uh, this time just, 
if you go to any bar, you can ask for that liquid, but we usually it used for chemical purposes. Just pour it, yeah, yeah, pour it here, and uh, you know, it's like a, a washing, a polishing, and uh, let's put some liquid nitrogen on it. And let's see the difference. So the question is, uh, uh, the, here we can see the clouds are more rich, and that's the reason the water vapor was less than the vapor of this liquid, and that's the reason why we can smell when in the water there is some kind of specific additive that you can smell. Okay, I won't drink this time. Uh, okay. A little, bit. A little bit more? Let's move on. But you know, I would like to put some flames here. Here we have some water, here we have alcohol vapor, but <clears throat> interesting, if you put some... But as I promised, we will use closed flames this time. Uh, so, you ready? Yes. So, you don't need to close your ears, because when it's very loud, you just open your mouth like, uh? like that, and then, you know, the canal is open from the one end and another end, and you don't, you just, you can hear, but it won't be so loud. So you can open your uh, mouth like, uh -huh. Oh, it wasn't so loud. I thought it would be louder because, you know, tomorrow morning we just saw this on TikTok and we should, we should use it here. So I thought it would be loud. But the, it, let's, tr let's do it once again. Oh, better. Sure. You know the, why we had this? Uh, sure, the vapor we had here, we can combine here with the air, and then it burns. But this time, let's try to put together different gases. And sure, uh, what's that inside? That's the question for you. I'll move a little bit more here, so you can see. I'm holding it. So, here you go. Okay, okay. Let's make it bigger, maybe. Huh? You know, it's more interesting usually when it's louder. Uh, yes, I think it's, it's good. So, and sure, could you tell me what is that inside here? Yes, yes, yes. When we add this together, then the question, what is inside? Like, ready? Just three, don't close your ears. It's, it, it will be funny, you know, when you have seen an explosion in some crowded areas. Let's, let's try. Three, two, one. So, you know, we have inside a gas, and you can name it. Hydrogen, 100%, true. Uh, so, it's so light, and you can fly even with it. Uh, sure, it's, it's uh, too dangerous. But uh, sure, we will add a little bit more another gas and see what's going on if we do a mixture. Sure, that's the one thing. So, uh, when hydrogen burns, it uses oxygen, sure. But we have only 21% oxygen in our air, so the explosion or burning doesn't happen so fast. That's the reason we need to mix them together and have a bit more. So this time we will have a smaller balloon, right? No, 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 not so big. Yeah, it's, I think it's enough this time. And 
just let's use this one. Sure. Ah, okay. It's going to be so bright, but please don't put your hands in front of your, in, in front of your head uh, or in front of your eyes. So you should see it. on video. It's not so good, Anthony, like in live. Okay, I will make a fire. Here we have a fire. I will put it here and I will move away a little bit. But please don't put your like ears close. Just do like uh -huh. okay. <laughs> it works well. Yes. Much better. We're very happy to be here with you and see so many great minds. Enjoy, and all of you are winners. Thank you.